I'm Laura Ingram. This is The Ingram Angle. Thank you for joining us tonight. Old dog, old tricks. That's the focus of tonight's angle. On Inauguration Day, the Biden team promised that with Trump gone, things in government would go back to normal. That meant leveling all the time with the American people. His objective and his commitment is to bring transparency and truth back to government, uh, to share the truth even when it's hard to hear. Um, and uh, that's something that I hope to deliver on in this role as well. It all sounded so wonderful. But three years later, we see those were just words signifying nothing. Folks, you're going to ask me questions. Hang on a second. I'm going to be back on Thursday. I'm not going to be answering any questions of this. I'll be back Thursday to stand here with you and answer all the questions you want about this issue. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Before we begin, I'm going to make this statement let it stand on its own. I'm not going to take any questions, but I'll be taking questions tomorrow and the next day. Reminds me of that cartoon character, you know, from decades and decades and decades ago. The one who was always putting off paying up. I'd gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah, it's a classic Biden bait and switch. I'll actually answer questions later if you promise to just sit and listen today. But of course, later never comes. I promise I'll come back and answer questions later. Thank you. Sir, when Trump said that, sir, what did Putin hear? What's plan B if the speaker doesn't act? Sir, the And every now and then, the White House is actually stunned that a reporter actually calls Biden on his wimpy style promise. The president said yesterday that he would be taking questions today or tomorrow. What was he referring to? Uh, I don't have anything to, to share at this time. As you, as you know, the president. Um, um, takes questions from you all uh, often. Uh, I don't have a, anything on the public schedule uh, to speak to. Sorry, I, I don't have anything on the public schedule to speak to. Now, if she, as press secretary, doesn't know what's on the president's public schedule, who does? Who are we supposed to call? Now, no one on earth really believes that she doesn't know why Biden avoids unscripted Q&As with reporters, because we all know when Joe speaks, he wanders. And when Joe walks, he wanders. And his mind wanders as well. Now, remember when he lashed out at special prosecutor Herr for asking about the date of his son's death, which he couldn't recall? There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. Well, the enablers, of course, rushed in to echo Biden's indignation. I find the shots on his memory, particularly a shot about when did Bo Biden die beneath any special counsel. Why the hell are you asking that question? Why would he even be questioning Joe Biden about when did his son die? It turns out the prosecutor did not ask that question. Sources are telling NBC News that it was Biden himself who raised his son's death when trying to recall when he discovered classified docs at the rental home. Well, Biden brought up the timing of Bo's death. Then he couldn't recall the year. The first lady even sent out a fundraising appeal decrying the use of their son's death to score political points. Now, this is all absurd. Either Biden forgot the details of his interview with the special prosecutor, or he is being purposely deceptive and trying to make money off of a craven false storyline. Whatever the truth, the old dog can't learn new tricks and won't answer for anything. There's an audio tape of the special prosecutor interview, we understand. Release it, Mr. President, as Trump released his Ukraine call when questions arose about that. But Biden doesn't answer real questions because he literally can't. He makes none of the major decisions, not about Ukraine, not about China, not about the border, not about the economy. The entire White House is run by some, I don't know, some amalgam of Jill Biden, a few key staffers, and of course, the campaign. Of course, one way to alleviate the concerns about Biden's mental condition would be for him to just submit to a basic cognitive test. But the White House, they already nixed that. 
To shift the narrative away from Biden's feeble condition, they're hoping that other octogenarians can really help rally the base. We have a great candidate, Joe Biden, president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Uh, we're on, on the road to victory, as I say. But we, uh, we just win, baby. We have a will to win, and we will win because it is the right thing for our country. Is it, is it just me, or does Anderson Cooper there look like he's just going to burst out laughing? But uh, it is true, Nancy Pelosi is the paragon of mental clarity, so she does know best. But the award for the lamest Joe Biden rescue effort goes to Politico. In a piece today, they try to equate Trump's occasional verbal missteps that we all make to Biden's persistent and glaring mental lapses, which, look, this is just ludicrous on its face. I'm not even going to spend time on that. And then, they, by the way, they prattle on about how awesome Biden is behind closed doors. How many times have we heard this? They quote Mayor Pete saying that Biden stumped an expert from the Federal Railroad Administration behind closed doors who couldn't answer all of Biden's questions. So that expert had to dial in another expert just to answer Joe's tough questions. Now, are we to believe that Mayor Pete, who wouldn't know a locomotive from a caboose, is now suddenly a geriatric care specialist? Now, let's be clear. The claim that Biden is sharper than he appears is simply a lie. It's an insult to everyone's intelligence. But look, if the voters want to be treated with more respect, they are going to have to pick a different president. And that's the angle. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.